Hey, this is Dan Archuleta, and this is 21 Things You Probably Don't Know About Me on Alloy TV. The most un-Hollywood thing about me, I don't, I guess I'm not the most Hollywood person. I don't fit in very well, so I don't think very much of anything about me is very Hollywood. <laughs> so, <laughs> I actually haven't ever been in love, to be honest. Musicians that have really inspired me have been Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Eva Cassidy, Natalie Cole, Natasha Bedingfield, and then Jason Mraz, John Mayer more recently too, and uh, yeah, th those are some of the people I like to listen to music. Actually, I've, I've been getting more interested in reading, but that's not unusual either. I mean, I, I think the hobbies that I have, most people like to do too. I don't have a celebrity crush. It's like, how can you have a crush on someone you don't know? The most embarrassing onstage moment. I do a lot of pretty embarrassing things, I guess. I do a lot of dumb things. There was one time where I said the wrong city. Even though I knew what city I was in, it just came out for some reason. So I quickly caught myself, but the audience wasn't very happy. So that was embarrassing. I don't want to do that again. The craziest thing a fan's done. I mean, I think it's always really interesting when people take road trips. There are some fans in the US who came to see my UK shows when I was there. I actually thought it was kind of cool. Favorite song to sing in the shower? I think a few years ago I used to, but I don't, I don't seem to anymore because I think I take too quick of showers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Favorite American Idol moment? I really liked the finale just because it was, it just represented so many things and all the hard work and all the time and effort that went into being there and after all the people voting for you, it's like now I'm here at the finale and it was just a really amazing moment. Favorite thing to do on Friday night? It depends where I am. If I'm at home, then I just like to be with my family. But if I was not home, then I'd probably look for a restaurant to go to. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. I really like tortilla chips and salsa or guacamole or some kind of dip but not sour cream or anything like that. But I, yeah, chips and salsa, I am obsessed with. Uh, my guilty pleasure, well, I, I mentioned tortilla chips and salsa. That's kind of a guilty pleasure because I can't stop eating them. If there's a bag of them, I can't stop eating them. My favorite line from one of my songs, you know, I really like one of the new songs from the new album, The Other Side of Down. You know, I could give up, I could stay stuck, or I could move on. So I put one foot in front of the other, no, 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 nothing's gonna break my stride. I'll keep climbing, keep fighting until I make it to the other side of down. I, I really like recording, but just getting to perform, there aren't any do-overs, and you're feeding off of the energy of the crowd. Sweet or savory, well, if you order Thai food, you can get both. I really like soul R&B. That's the mood I'm in right now. Soulful R&B music. Acoustic or electric, acoustic. Girl Next Door, hottie down the hall, uh, Girl Next Door. Paul or Simon, you know, Simon for if you want to hear the real thing and get a good opinion, advice, and Paula for someone who, who can relate to you as a performer because she was a performer and so she's just very relatable. Right or left of, of the other side of down, I think a mo good motto is choose the right, so I'd have to say right. Well, thanks for watching 21 Questions on Allo TV. This is Derek Archuleta, and be sure to check out my new album, The Other Side of Down, in stores now.